ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I'm gonna go over with you guys four special tests that you can do to check if you have shoulder impingement. And essentially shoulder impingement is when you get this pain that doesn't seem to go away in your shoulder whenever you have pain say reaching overhead, doing things like painting or swimming or just any overhead activities in general, like reaching overhead to get things out of a cabinet. If you have shoulder pain from doing that, it's possible you have shoulder impingement, say you're doing overhead exercise in the gym too. Essentially shoulder impingement is when the space in here of your shoulder, your subacromial space, it's when the structures in there begin to get in jammed and inflamed. So structures like your subacromial bursa in there, your long head of the biceps tendon in there, your supraspinatus tendon, which is one of your four rotator cuff tendons in there. If those things begin to get jammed and inflamed, then you get impingement syndrome, which is gonna cause lasting pain in your shoulder. And so here's four tests you can do to check if you have it. So just because one or two tests are positive doesn't really mean you have it, but if all four of these are positive, it's quite possible you have it. And then you should go see someone like a physical therapist. So first test is th this thing called Hawkins Kennedy. So first you're gonna take your arm like this, raise your arm so it's in line with your shoulder, and your forearm's gonna be pointed up. Now point your arm, forearm so that's parallel to the floor, like this. And now you're gonna take your other hand and you're gonna internally rotate to your end range position. So for me it's about there. So if you have a sharp pain with that or pain in your shoulder, that's a positive sign. But I, I just feel some slight discomfort, so for me this is a negative test. So for the next test, it's gonna be this test called the cross arm adduction test. So you take your hand, put on your opposite shoulder, take your other hand, put it behind your elbow, cross your elbow like that. So for me, it's just slight discomfort. It's more so a stretch, but if you have pain or sharp pain from that, that's a positive test. Now next test, it's this kind of similar, take your hand, put it on your shoulder, you take your elbow here, raise it up like that. So you take your elbow, raise it up like that. If, that if that's painful or a sharp pain, that's a positive test. So this final test is called the painful arc. You essentially have your arms at the side of your body and you come up like this, overhead. So this is the painful arc test. And if the positive signs for this test is if you have pain from zero degrees away from your body up to 120 to around here. So from 60 to 120, if you have pain, that's a positive sign. So if you have no pain, then you get to 60, pain, 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 120. Then you have no pain from 120 beyond. Then that means that you have a positive test from 60 to 120, pain, that's positive. So if all four of those are positive, then it's quite likely you have shoulder impingement and you should go do something about it like seeing a physical therapist. So I decided to go over those four basic special tests with you guys. And if you like this video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I actually did this whole video about the shoulders. It's a pretty in-depth video. I'll leave it in the link below. You should go check it out, good video. But anyway, it's been Jeff once more. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.